What's up, Kasorians? I'm Chef Margaret, and today I'll be making fudgy flourless brownies in the air fryer. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to be part of the Kasori community and see more recipe videos like this in the future. And if you'd like to be notified every time we upload a new recipe video, hit the bell icon. So let's take a look at all the ingredients we have for today's recipe. We've got one cup of almond flour, one cup of chocolate chips, half cup of dark brown sugar packed and a half cup of white sugar, three large eggs, one stick of unsalted butter softened, one tablespoon of hot water, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, one tablespoon of brewed hot espresso, half a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna beat together our eggs and sugars on high speed for about two minutes or until the mixture is paler in color and has lightly thickened. And this is really important because it helps create that crinkle top on the brownies that everyone loves. You have the crinkle top and it's fudgy inside. So this step is really important to achieving the crinkle top. And another chef tip is to use room temperature ingredients when baking. And for this recipe, it calls for room temperature eggs. And that's really important because it helps the batter um, be more evenly textured and smoother, which results in better baked goods. So you can have softer, fluffier baked goods rather than dense, crumbly ones. So make sure to watch out for that when you're reading the ingredients list. So now I'm just gonna crack my eggs, leave them, and then I'm gonna add the sugars. And we're gonna be on high speed for two minutes. So our eggs and sugars have beat on high for two minutes. So the next step that we're gonna do is we're going to melt together our butter and chocolate together. So I have one stick of unsalted butter that's just melted and it's nice and hot and I'm gonna pour over one cup of chocolate chips. And the hot butter is going to pretty much instantly melt the chocolate chips. I'm just gonna stir it together until everything is perfectly melted. So next we're gonna combine in this bowl our two tablespoons of cocoa powder with two teaspoons of vanilla extract and one tablespoon of hot espresso brewed. You could also use um, hot brewed coffee, like a dark roast could also be great. And then we're gonna add one tablespoon of hot water and just we're gonna stir this together and it's kind of gonna bloom the cocoa powder and it's just gonna make these brownies extra chocolatey. The espresso and the vanilla extract really enhance the chocolate flavor, so it makes these brownies just extra chocolatey and extra decadent. Next, we're going to add our chocolate and butter mixture with our cocoa powder mixture to the bowl of the sugar and eggs. So we're just gonna Add everything in there. You can use your hands and get messy and fun. And then the butter and chocolate mixture. Perfect. And then this is gonna beat on medium speed for about maybe like 30 seconds just until everything is combined. So now we're gonna add one cup of almond flour and half a teaspoon of salt to the mixer. So we're gonna add the almond flour, just dump it right in, and the salt. And then we're gonna mix on low just until everything is combined. 
So now our brownie batter is ready to go and we're gonna pour it into our pan. So I'm using a seven inch round cake pan. It's our Kasori accessory pan. You can use any seven inch uh, round or square pan that fits inside the fryer basket. And I've also created a parchment paper overhang, which makes it so much easier to remove the brownies once they've cooked. So it's another great chef tip to use whenever you're using not just brownies, but any cakes or other baked goods. And I've also um, sprayed the inside of the pan with just some nonstick cooking spray. You could also grease it with butter if you like. So I'm gonna pour all of this delicious looking brownie batter into the pan. It looks and smells so good. Awesome. And then I'm just gonna top mine with some dark chocolate chunks and some flaky sea salt. It's totally optional, but I really love it and it just adds to the presentation and it just makes them extra delicious. So we're just gonna sprinkle and flaky sea salt for that sweet and salty combo, which is so good. And now all we have to do is preheat our air fryer. So now that our air fryer is preheated to 320 degrees, we're gonna bake our brownies at 320 for 50 minutes. And they're gonna have a crinkle top and they're gonna be fudgy on the inside and delicious. Our brownies are done cooking, so it's time to take them out of the air fryer. Oh, they look and smell amazing. Just lifting the handle basket out. So I'm gonna let these brownies cool for 30 minutes before slicing, but another tip is to let these brownies chill in the refrigerator until they're cold, and it'll make it so much easier to get clean slices when cutting. So now that our brownies have cooled, it's time to cut. So I'm just gonna, and I chilled these brownies so they cut really nicely. Oh yes, they look super fudgy still in the inside and you can see the crackly top that they have. They're gonna be so good. So now that I've sliced my brownies, it's time to plate them up and taste them. Oh, I've been waiting so long to try these, and now I finally can. So we're gonna taste the bite. They look perfect. Mmm. So good. It sticks to your teeth, which is what you want in a good brownie. You've got the perfect crinkle top. They're fudgy on the inside. Super decadent, chocolatey, dense, moist, everything you could want in a brownie. And they're flourless. They're gluten free, so, and nobody would ever be able to tell. So I really hope you guys try this recipe and give these a shot. Do you guys like cakey or fudgy brownies? Leave a comment below and let us know. I personally love fudgy brownies, hence with this recipe video today. Thank you so much you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful and you guys get the chance to make this amazing recipe. See you guys in the next video.